Hi, I'm Dr. Lawrence Robbins. I'm just north of Chicago. I'm a headache physician and neurologist. I have a new book out on Amazon, Stuff You Should Know, with cutting edge tips and pearls. And I'm at chicagoheadacheclinic.com. And I'm going to talk about various neurology topics, migraine, number one. First of all, the diagnosis. You know, we have our official diagnosis of migraine, but What's much more important is the practical diagnosis, which is any regularly occurring moderate or severe headache that is accompanied by what we call an associated symptom. Nausea, photophobia, which is sensitivity to bright lights, sonophobia, sensitivity to loud sounds, worsening on bending or exertion. And often it's triggered in frequency by stress or Weather changes, a lot of people can tell the weather with their head. Hormonal are the worst, the menstrual migraines. They tend to loss, last the longest and ruin quality of life for many, many women. Undersleeping, oversleeping, after stress too. A lot of people on a Sunday, if they've been working Monday through Friday or Saturday. And you notice foods are down the list. People tend to overemphasize foods, but Really, people are usually sensitive to one or two or three foods. MSG and H cheats and alcohol, wine and beer tend to be the worst. And the books tend to sense, uh, <clears throat> focus on this because it's something tangible people can keep track of. But if you look at where it is in the order of frequency of important migraine triggers, it's down there a little bit. You know, when I emphasize stress, we don't want to emphasize that this is a psychological condition. It's not. It's not. It, it's like asthma or diabetes. Headaches are a very physical illness and they're very genetic. Uh, some people get exertional headaches also. And certain smells, uh, gasoline, perfumes can certainly trigger headache. And it can hurt anywhere around your head. Migraines often pounding or throbbing or pulsing, but it can just be aching too. It involves uh, the neck also in about half the people. So in younger people, neck pain tends to be more migraine. And in older folks, we think of arthritis, etc. And chronic sinus headache is almost always migraine 95% of the time. It's usually misdiagnosed. So I think I'll wrap it up here and continue later on with another migraine minute or neurology minute.